So over here, you can see that I got a bunch of documents opened up. And let's say what I want to do is I want to add in comments. And one of the common ways to add in comment is a sticky note comment. And that is what we're going to focus upon in this video. So to add in a sticky note comment, first of all, you should access comment, which you can actually access over here on the right side, as you can see. If you were to click on this, then the comment options pop up over here. I can also go around and then minimize this as you can see or expand this according to what you like. And if you want to close out the common toolbar, simply click on close and then the common toolbar will be closed out. You can also expand this out and then you can see that comment is available right here. So if I were to click on comment right here, then what you have is all of this as you can see. So this one, the option in the first is the sticky note. So if I were to click on it, then you can see that the icon changes. And if I were to click it over here, you can see that now I can add in a comment. So I can say something like change the font to green and I'm, I can click on post and the comment is added. So if I were to click on the comment right here and let's say I want to add in another comment, I can simply click over here and say add in more points just like this and I can click on post. If I want to move around comment, I can click and drag the comment out and place it wherever I want, just like that. And uh, let's say uh, you have sent this to other person, the other person can type in the reply and post it out over here as well. So this is like a communication platform for uh, coordination as well. So you can see that this is the option. So if we were to actually right click this out, then you got more option right here. So if I were to go around into, let's say, uh, open pop up note, you can see that it actually pop up, pops up right here. I can even close this out and you can see that you can still access the comments just like that. I can click here and then the pop up, pop -up note is here, which you can use to actually uh, see the comments. You can right click, you can reply to the comment, you can delete, you can set status like accepted and then you can see that it is it says accepted right here or cancel, that's canceled and then you can say completed, it shows the tick mark right there. You can right click as well and then you can show the comment app right here and then it opens up right there. And you can also hide the comment app to hide that out. You can minimize all the pop-ups right here or you can go ahead and then open all pop-ups right here to open up or minimize the pop-ups for the comment. Then you can go around over here and then uh, go to properties to change other settings. Let's say you want a check mark over here as an icon, we can do that as well. You can increase and decrease the opacity level of the icon. And in the general, you can go around and change the name. Let's say, for example, I want to change the name to, to the tube right here. And then I can go around, change the, see the review history as well. So once I do that, you can see that my name has changed over here. And if I want to make this the default uh, settings, then I can right click and I can click on make current properties default. And now what happens is that if I were to go to comment right here and then go around, you can see that another tick mark appears because that is what I set as a default. So that is how you can work around with sticky note comments inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.